If you've been following financial news lately, you may have seen that First Republic Bank collapsed this week. It's the third in a series of bank failures that have happened in the United States this year, the first two being Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank back in March. Now, if all these failures have you worried about your money at your bank, keep in mind that the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, or FDIC, insures up to $250,000 per depositor, per bank, per account ownership type. What this means is that if you have more than $250,000, you can either open a joint account with a spouse or a trusted family member, or you can move your money around to multiple banks so that you can get the optimum FDIC insurance for all of your cash. For the banks that failed this year, either the government or other banks stepped in to assume responsibility for consumer deposits, so no one lost money, whether their money was insured or above the insurance limit. If you're worried about this with your cash, take a look at your balances and see what you can do to spread your money around and protect it.